Hello, welcome to our channel and today we are going to take the derivative of inverse trigonometric function. If we have function like sine inverse of x, then the derivative of this inverse function is equal to 1 over under root 1 minus x square and the derivative of cos inverse of x is equal to minus 1 over under root 1 minus x square. So today we are going to prove these two equations. But before continuing to the topic, kindly click on the like and subscribe button and if you have any question, you can ask in the comments. Now let's begin with the derivative of sine inverse of x is equal to 1 over under root 1 minus x square. To prove this equation, let's suppose y is equal to sine inverse of x. We have just supposed that this sine inverse of x term is equal to y. Now, if we take sine on both the sides, then on the left hand side, we will have sine of y and on the right hand side, we will have sine into sine inverse of x and this sine and this sine will cancel out with one another and we will have sine y is equal to x. Now, if we take the derivative of this function sine y is equal to x, we will have d by dx into sine of y is equal to dx by dx. The dx by dx term or the derivative of this x will become only 1. And the derivative of sine y we know is equal to cos of y and then if we take the derivative of y we will have dy by dx. So we have cos y into dy by dx is equal to 1. Now this is equation number 1. Now, according to the trigonometric identity, we know that sine square of y plus cos square of y is equal to 1. And we also know that sine y, this term, sine y is equal to x. Now, we just substitute the value of sine y is equal to x in this equation. So we will have, if we replace the sine y with x, we will have x square plus cos square of y is equal to 1. Now here we are going to rearrange this equation and after rearranging, we will have cos square of y is equal to 1 minus x square. This x square comes to this sign and the sign of this will change from plus to minus. So we have cos square of y is equal to 1 minus x square. Now if we take under root on both the sides of this equation this under root term will cancel out with this square and we will have cos y is equal to under root 1 minus x square now we are going to substitute the value of cos y this value in this equation and if we substitute the value of cos y in this equation number one uh, then we will have under root 1 minus x square, this is the value of cos y into dy by dx is equal to 1. Now if we solve this equation for the value of dy by dx, we will divide both the sides by uh, under root 1 minus x square. If we do this on both the sides, this term will cancel out with this term and we will have 1 divided by under root 1 minus x square. So we have dy divided by dx is equal to 1 divided by under root 1 minus x square and we know that the value of y is equal to sine inverse of x. So we have d by dx into sine inverse of x is equal to 1 divided by under root 1 minus x square and this is the final solution. We have proved that the derivative of sine inverse of x is equal to 1 over under root 1 minus x square. Uh, now here we are going to prove that the derivative of cos inverse of x is equal to minus 1 over under root 1 minus x square. It's almost similarly this one is almost similar to the previous uh, equation proof. Now here we are going to suppose that y is equal to cos inverse of x. And again if we take cos on both the sides, on the left hand side we, this will become cos of y. And here on the right hand side we will have cos into cos inverse of x and this cos and cos inverse will cancel out with one another and we will have cos y is equal to x. 
Now, if we take the derivative of this whole equation on the left hand side, this cos y, the derivative of cos y is minus sin y. So, we will have d by dx cos y into dx by dx and the derivative of x will become 1. So, we will have uh, minus sin y and then taking the derivative of this y, we will have dy by dx and on the right hand side, we will have just 1. This is equation number uh, 1. Again, here we know that uh, the trigonometric identity sine square of y plus cos square of y is equal to 1. And this time we are going to replace this cos square y or cos of y with x. Because we have supposed that uh, here we know that value of x is equal to cos of y. So we have cos of y is equal to x. We will have sin square of y plus x square is equal to 1. Solving this equation for the value of sin square of y, we will have sin square of y is equal to 1 minus x square. We shifted this x square to this side of the equation. So sin change is equal to minus. Now again taking under root on both the sides. This under root will cancel out to this square and we will have sin of y is equal to under root 1 minus x square. Now again we are going to substitute the value of sin y is equal to under root 1 minus x square in this equation number 1 we will replace this sin y with under root 1 minus x square. Substituting this value we will have minus under root 1 minus x square dy by dx is equal to 1 and again here we are going to divide this whole, whole equation by minus under root 1 minus x square. We are going to solve this equation for the value of dy by dx. Uh, so dividing this on both the sides we will have 1 minus x square and this whole term will cancel out with this term and we will have dy by dx is equal to 1 divided by minus under root 1 minus x square. Again here we have initially supposed that y is equal to cos inverse of x substituting the value for cos of, of y we will have d by dx cos inverse of x is equal to minus 1 over under root 1 minus x square and this is the final solution we have proved that the derivative of cos inverse of x is equal to minus 1 over under root 1 minus x square that's it thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe easy thank you